Hello, my name is Nino Valino, and we are here in the subject of securities analysis. First, as an introduction, let me ask you a question. Why do we need to invest? Well, the very, very basic answer is that when we put our money in savings account or sa banko, the money grows less than 1%, while the inflation rate grows 3% to 6% per year. Ano ibig sabihin ng inflation? Inflation is not uh, the price is getting higher. Hindi yung pagtaas ng presyo. It is the effect of inflation. Inflation is the diminishing of the purchasing power of money. Diminishing of the purchasing power of money. Ibig sabihin, kung dati nakakabili tayo ng uh, uh, yung grocery natin worth 500, ang dami-dami na. Habang tumatagal, after five years, yung 500 natin, hawak-hawak na lang natin sa kamay. Kukunti na lang yung nabibili natin. Ibig sabihin, yung pera natin, yung purchasing power ng pera natin, bumababa. While, if your money sits in the bank, your money grows 1%. Ibig sabihin, kung yung pera natin, yung purchasing power, uh, the diminish by 3 to 6% per year, and your money in the bank, grows 1% or less than 1%, kabalugi ka. That's why we need to beat inflation. We need to put our money where our money grows more than infl inflation. At paano natin magagawa yun? We can do it through investing. Now, what is investing or investment? It is an act or an activity wherein you, your financial uh, asset in the present, uh, you put it somewhere in an avenue wherein it could grow more than that, or you expect it to, to grow or to have a return or to increase in value. That is investing. Now, is it possible that the investment may may not yield a return or even incur losses? The answer is yes, of course. So, sir, ibig po ba niya sabihin that when we invest, we are like gambling. Nagsusugal tayo. Well, you could say it that way, but investing is not gambling. It is called risk or educated risk or calculated risk. In any investment, for you to have a return, you should also have to risk. Right? So, uh, and daming um, investment avenue. A lot of people uh, do buy house and lot for them to, you know, the, the, the house and lot uh, in, in some time, the, the, the value appreciates. Uh, well, insurances, stocks, bonds, golds, forex, uh, mutual fund, others go to cryptocurrency. Let me ask you a question. Putting your money in a piggy bank, is that investment? No, that is hoarding. Or online sabong, is that investment? No, that is gambling. So, okay. Now, here, our subject is called securities analysis. So, let's first talk about what is a security. Security in itself is an investment. Investment yan. Bakit? Sabi nga natin, 
an investment is putting it into an instrument, into somewhere, into an avenue wherein it could grow or it would yield a return. And that is security. Humibili tayo, we buy security so that in the future, it has a higher value. nag expect tayo. So it's a financial instrument, but the nature of the security that other investment assets don't have is that securities can be traded. Ulitin ko, securities can be traded. So pag meron kang security or uh, uh, let's say stocks or bond, it can be traded in the market. Saan? Sa exchange. Like for stocks, sa stock exchange. So other categories of the securities are equity securities such as stocks, debt securities such as bonds and banknotes, and other derivatives like futures and, and options. Now, what are the types of investments? First, financial investment. Financial investment is, uh, is an asset. This is an instrument wherein expected return is in the form of interest, whether dividend, premium, pension benefits, or something that the value appreciates. Pwede ring, example niyan, mga shares, debentures, money market certificates, even insurance policies. Next, next type of investment is an in economic investment. Here, the expected return derived from the increase of economy's capital stock or other goods of service or, and services. Like, may bagong uh, planta or in the form of new construction, uh, uh, plant and uh, machinery and, and, and plants or other inventories or um, anything that could generate economic return, maybe industrial activity. Like for example, in a certain locality or dito sa Sorsogon, uh, ang daming roads or infrastructures and build, build, build. Uh, the effect may not be um, abrupt, yung economic return, but in the future, yung mga investors pupunta dito because of tourism, maganda yung infrastructures. Um, that's it. Uh, that's economic investment. Now, what is the objective of investment? Of course, nasabi natin kanina, first and foremost, for future consumption. Gagamitin mo to in the future. That in the future, the value of this malaki na. Uh, number two, to minimize risk and maximize return. Safety and liquidity. And lastly, economic growth. So that's it for now. See you again in the next chapters. Bye-bye. For more ICCT Colleges video updates, please subscribe and click the notification button.